Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist and they're gonna be doing a Mech Knight deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is an extremely unique deck because it focuses around columns, which is super cool. I've included all sorts of spicy tech cards in this build for you guys. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Blue Sky. Blue Sky is a definite three of in the deck, and all of your Mech Knight monsters actually share a really awesome common effect. That if there are two more cards in the same column, you can special summon this card from your hand in that column. But you can only special summon each Mech Knight once per turn. But that's a really cool ability for these cards to have to be able to swarm the board with a bunch of Mech Knight cards. But your copy of Blue Sky is super cool in this deck, is if this card is normal or special summoned from your hand, you can actually add Mech Knight monsters with different names except Blue Sky from your deck to your hand equal to the number of your opponent's cards in this column, which is a really cool ability to be able to do to search multiple Mech Knight cards depending on how many cards that your opponent has in this card's column. We then play three copies of Purple Nightfall. Purple Nightfall is an amazing three of in the deck that is also a searcher, but it has the ability that quick effect you can target a Mech Knight monster that you control and banish it until the standby phase of your next turn, and if you do, Add one Mech Knight monster from your deck to your hand, except another copy of Purple Nightfall, which is great to search out the exact card that you need off this card's ability. We then play a single copy of Indigo Eclipse. Indigo Eclipse is really good as a one of in the deck because it helps you move your Mech Knights around, which is just really cool. We then play a single copy of Yellow Star. Yellow Star is a definite one of in the deck because this card helps you pop spells and traps by banishing a Mech Knight from your graveyard. We then play a single copy of Red Moon. Red Moon is really good because this card actually pops pops monsters on the field, which is a, such a cool ability for this card to have to be able to pop a monster in this card's column. But it can only pop a face-up monster, which is a little bit of a downside, but it's still really good. We then play three copies of Gearsu the Orcus Mech Knight. This card is a definite three of in the deck, and is just probably the best normal summon in the entire build. Is if this card is normal or special summon, you can send an Orcus or a World Legacy card from your deck to the graveyard, which is a really powerful effect to be able to send your copy of World Legacy World Chalice to the graveyard, because it helps you out with your copy of Lib, the World Key Blade Master. This card also has the ability if you control no other monsters you can actually special summon out one world legacy token to your side of the field and your opponent's side of the field which is really good to give your opponent a token so that they have a card on the field so you can start summoning out your mech knight monsters which is super cool this card is definitely a three of in the deck we then play a single copy of World Legacy, World Chalice. This card is a definite one of the deck to be able to send to your graveyard off your copy of Gearsu, and it's probably the best target to be able to use in the deck. Because it has the ability during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can actually banish this card from your grave to add one World Legacy card from your deck to your hand, which is a really cool ability. We then play three copies of Jin the Diamond Tiger. This card is a really cool tech card in the deck, and I really like this card overall because it has the ability that during your main phase you can special summon a copy of Ken the Warrior Dragon from your hand or deck to your opponent's side of the field. And if this card is special summoned by the effect of Ken, it lets you discard a card, which is a really cool ability because since your opponent will control this card since it was special summoned off of Ken, your opponent will actually discard a card, which is super neat. We can play a single copy of Ken. Ken is really good in the deck as a one of because you always want to summon your copy of Jin to your side of the field and be able to summon Ken to your opponent's side of the field because it actually gives us a pot of greed which is really cool is if this card is special by the effect of a gem the diamond tiger your opponent draws two cards and then discards a card meaning we will draw two cards and discard a card because our opponent will control this card also turning on cards like triple tactical talents and triple tactical thrust which is just really cool to be able to turn those cards on since our opponent technically activated a monster effect on their field which is amazing these cards are really good in the deck also because it puts a monster on your opponent's side of the field so they have have a card in a column so you can start summoning out mech knights. We then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom's a definite three of in the deck because this card helps out so much in the build to basically just stop your opponent from touching the deck. We then play three copies of Nibiru. Nibiru's a definite three of in the deck to basically just break your opponent's board. I did consider playing Gamma Seal over this card, but it's totally up to you what you want to play in this position, but I really like the Nibiru's to break the opponent's board. So, 
That's it for the monsters. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion is really good to be able to summon out a copy of Millennium Eyes Restrict to your side of the field to give you a walking gate, which is just really, really good. Plus, you can basically use your copy of Millennium Eyes Restrict as a link material as well, which is really good. We can play a single copy of Change of Heart. Change of Heart is great in this deck to be able to take control of an opponent's monster, and it's just really helpful in this build. We can play a single copy of World Legacy Succession. World Legacy Succession is great in this deck this card is basically monster reborn for the deck plus it's searchable we can play a single copy of world legacy key world legacy key is an extremely powerful card in the deck because when this card is activated you can target one of your banished mech knight monsters or world legacy cards and add it to your hand it also has a really cool ability that you negate any opponent's trap effect that's activated in the same column as a mech knight monster you control which is amazing because we actually play three different cards in the deck to, that can lock down monsters spells and traps in this same column as a mech knight monster essentially locking your opponent entirely down where they cannot play which is really amazing we then play two copies of thrust thrust is amazing in this deck because you play the copies of ken and jen which is just so powerful in this build this is really a cool card because it can search out cards like change of heart or instant fusion or even triple tactical talents but if you're going first and your opponent does hand trap you you can get something like an infinite impermanence that you can set to your side of the field so this card has a lot of options to be able to use in this deck we then play two copies copies of triple tactics talents triple tactics talents is a great two of in the deck this card has the ability that you can draw two cards take control of an opponent's monster or look at your opponent's hand and choose one card from it and shuffle it into the deck which is just so cool about this card it's absolutely amazing and a definite two of in the build and if you guys would like a more budget option than thrust you can play a third copy of this and a copy of feather duster if you want to over the copies of thrust to give you a little bit more budget of an option for the deck we then play three copies of World Legacy's Memory. This card is basically e telly for the deck. It lets you special summon a Mech Knight monster from your hand or deck in defense position, but return it back to your hand during the end phase. But that's an amazing ability just to turbo out one of your copies of your Mech Knight monsters to your side of the field. But for the rest, turn out of this card results. You cannot special summon monsters except for Mech Knight monsters, which is not that big of a deal because it's just really good to get one out on your side of the field. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get in to the traps. So for the traps, guys, we're going to be playing three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Impermanence is a definite three of in the deck, because this card basically just stops your opponent's monster effects, but also locks down an entire column of spells and traps, which is amazing, because you can set this card to your side of the field to do that, which is really, really cool. We then play a single copy of World Legacy Whispers. Whispers is really good in the deck, because it helps you boost the attack points of your Mech Knight monsters, because when this card is activated, you target a level five or higher monster on the field, and it gains a thousand attack and defense points until the end of the turn which is a really good effect for this card to have it also has the ability to negate any opponent's spell effect that's activated in the same column as a mech knight monster that you control we then play two copies of world legacy secret world legacy secret is amazing in this deck this card is basically like call of the haunted and skill drain in one card because when this card is activated you get to target a level five or higher monster in your graveyard and special summon it which is a really good ability that basically says special summon a mech knight from the graveyard it also says that when this card leaves the field, destroy that monster and negate any opponent's monster effect that is activated in the same column as a Mech Knight monster you control, which is insane about this card that is basically skill drain in this deck that's searchable. This card also comes in really handy if you put your Mech Knight monsters in column two and column four right under the extra monster zone, because you can essentially lock down your opponent's link monsters if they only have a single link monster to summon, they won't be able to activate the effect while this card's on the field and you have a Mech Knight in column two and column four four which is just super super cool i love that about this card and it's just really really interesting so that's it for the traps guys let's get in to the extra deck So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to be playing three copies of Lib, the World Key Blade Master. This card is a really cool 3-up in the deck. It is actually one of the best summons in the entire deck. It has the ability it can only be link summoned while you have a World Legacy card in your graveyard, which is super easy to do with your copy of Gear Suit because it will send your copy of World Legacy World Chalice to the grave. It also has the ability during your main phase, you can set a World Legacy spell or trap directly from your deck, but it cannot be activated the turn you activate or the turn you set it while you 
you control no World Legacy Monster in your graveyard, which is not that big of a deal because you're probably going to have one in the grave when you summon out this card. It also, this Link Summon card is sent to the graveyard as a Link material. You can shuffle one card on the field in the deck and it doesn't even target, which is insane. We then play a single copy of Access Code Talker. Access Code is amazing because it can pop multiple cards on the field and it comes out absolutely massive. We then play a single copy of Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. This card is really good in the deck and you can basically make it invincible when you summon it out using IP Mascarena. We then play a single copy of Spectrum Supreme. This card is really good because it can actually attack your opponent directly because this card can attack your opponent directly if it's the only card in its column, which is super easy to do in this deck and it's just a really cool effect for this card to have. We then buy a single copy, or two copies, excuse me, of Morningstar. Morningstar is really good in this deck as a two of, and I absolutely love this card because if this card is Link Summon, you can discard a Mech Knight Monster or a World Legacy card to add a World Legacy card from your deck to your hand, which is so cool to be able to search out anything that you need off this card's ability, and it's just such a good card. And if your Mech Knight Monster battles a monster in a different column than it, your monster cannot be destroyed in that battle. Also, you take no battle damage from that battle which is so cool about this card that it forces your opponent to play in the same columns as your mech knights we then buy a single copy of galatea we only play the one copy of galatea so we can make our copy of dingirsu which is just super cool to be able to do play a single copy of sp little knight sp little knight is insane in this deck but if you want a more budget option than sp little knight you can play nightmare unicorn if you want to link rebo or a copy of nightmare phoenix if you want to play those instead we then play a single copy of IP Mascarena. IP is really good to be able to make your copy of Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax or SP Little Knight, which is just really, really good. We then play a single copy of Dingirsu. Dingirsu is amazing to be able to make on top of your copy of Galatea. Being able to be able to send a card to the graveyard when it's summoned is just really, really good. We then play a single copy of Typhon. Typhon is insane in this deck and it's super easy to make. We then play a single copy of Double A Zeus because it's a board wipe, which is just insane to be able to do. Plus, you can make it on top of Typhon, which is just crazy crazy. We then play a single copy of Millennium Eyes Restrict for our instant fusion target. And again, we don't play Link Kribo in the extract because the extract is extremely tight. So if you want to drop the copy of SP Little Knight, you can drop it if you don't have one for a copy of Link Kribo as an option for you guys. But usually I just link this card away instead of going in for Link Kribo anyways. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Mech Knight deck. It's super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Mech Knights before, you should definitely give this deck a try because it's absolutely crazy how powerful Mech Knights are. And I love that they play in the same columns, which is just so cool that basically they just summon to those columns, which is just really, really neat. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, notification, come part notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.